Hi viewers, so this is about a congenital deformity in our series of congenital diseases in which the children is having deficiencies in some of the body part, uh, especially about the muscles and the joints and the problem in the bones. So this is another thing which is around the shoulder joint. The shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. So there is a ball of the bone and there is a socket. So in this disease, uh, congenital disease which is present at the time of birth is mainly because the problem is in the socket which is known as glenoid. So this glenoid structure is basically made up of uh, by the union of three secondary ossification centers. One is the superior glenoid ossification center, the inferior glenoid ossification center and the coracoid ossification center. If these three unite properly in the period of gestation in the embryo phase then the child will have a normal glenoid. If there is problem the three pints are not uniting to each other then there will be problem of the glenoid hypoplasia. So this is the problem which causes the abnormal shoulder movement. There can be main problem is the disability in the range of motion and the second thing is multidirectional instability in the shoulder. The patient will feel that the shoulder is popping out in every direction. So these are the problem. Many other diseases are also attached with this can be seen with the condition like uh, skeletal dysplasia condition in which the skeletal is not formed there is problem of mucopolysaccharidosis there is problem of halt or syndromes and apart syndrome so these problems are also associated with this clinoid hypoplasia condition so these syndromes are also can be seen it is normally bilaterally present in the children which is uh, who is having deficiency in this clinoid thing and the main problem is in the flexion movement of the shoulder and the abduction movement of the shoulder and you can see there is some axillary area uh, webbing and multi-directional instability normally the parents are worried then they go for x-ray x-ray is not quite sure one cannot be sure about the x-ray so the basic treatment is the ct scan or mri so normally the functional problem are not that much so there is no need to be worried about only problem is the multi-directional instability that's as if you feel that the shoulder is coming out in different directions in that case uh, the physiotherapy is required and physiotherapy in the form of range of motion exercises and the strengthening exercises like there are few groups of muscles which are present around the shoulder joint like the deltoid muscle the rotator cuff muscles and the uh, parascapular muscles so these are these are the main muscles which need to be strengthened up, which need to be, you know, grown up so that the patient will feel the minimal shoulder instability. So this is about the glenoid hypoplasia and I think uh, I explained you this condition quite well. So please like and subscribe.